Dan Walker took to social media to share that his BBC breakfast partner Sally refused to appear in a video he posted. Dan Walker, 45, took to social media to post the short video clip. On Monday, Dan posted the comical video to his Twitter account, in which he uses a sad face filter that makes the user appear to be crying. He opened up about his sadness at leaving the BBC this week and also commented on how his BBC Breakfast co-star Sally Nugent, 50, refused to join him in the video clip. In the video, which was posted in view of his 758,000 followers, Dan can be seen saying, final week of BBC Breakfast. Very sad. Sally doesn't want to appear in this video because she says she looks like Groucho Marx. Great times. Meanwhile, Sally can be heard in the background at the beginning of the clip. She says, let him do it, indicating she is not interested in taking part at all. The 45-year-old who is moving to Channel 5 News later this month, also wrote, my partner at Sally Nugent wanted absolutely nothing to do with this hashtag breakfast. On Monday evening, Dan posted another short video clip to the microblogging site, where he wrote, Thank you for all the nice messages about my final shift on breakfast tomorrow. Preparation is not exactly going as planned. This post was followed by numerous laughing face emojis. In the video, he greeted his followers and said, Thank you for all the gorgeous messages you're sending through about my final shift on BBC Breakfast tomorrow. Speaking from inside his car, he continued, I'm looking forward to it. If I actually manage to get there. Dan explained that he was at a service station on the M40, charging his electric vehicle. Following a nervous laugh, the BBC Breakfast presenter of six years, explained, I had some travel-based issues and need to get it up to a significant enough charge to get me all the way to Manchester. He added that he might get there very late tonight, I'm planning on about two and a half hours sleep, so if I look a little befuddled in the morning. That's the reason why. This is the latest mishap for Dan recently as he forgot to set an alarm last Wednesday. The following day, he set multiple alarms to ensure this blunder didn't happen again.